Hey everybody, it's Ross and I'm excited about life. You know, I say that all, this, all the time, but I'm excited about life because I know my eternal destiny. Do you know yours? Are you free? Independence Day means freedom. We can go and come and do as we please. I can go to whatever job or whatever school, whatever church. I can go and come back and forth to the grocery store, to my house pretty much do whatever I want, go on holiday trips, travel, and that's freedom. And Independence Day reminds me of freedom. Hopefully you are free. Physically we all are free because of our men and women of the armed services all throughout history. They have provided and made provisions for us to be a free country. I always say love it or leave it, but don't complain about it. Pray for your country. Pray for the authorities. You'll be glad you did as you experience your freedom. Pray for the soldiers who are still protecting our land. But physical freedom is one thing. And if you have any issues about where you might spend eternity, go to a website called needgod.com, needgod.com, and answer some questions. It's real friendly to take a test to see where you would spend eternity. And Independence Day made me think of a scripture in the Bible with Jesus and the Pharisees. And he was speaking to them. And he says, if you truly are who you say you are, you will abide in my word. And the word, the truth, will set you free. Jesus said that to some proud and self-righteous Pharisees. You know, those people that believe that you can get to heaven by being a good person. Can you imagine? getting to heaven by being a good person how good do you have to be right and Jesus made it clear to these people that thought they were going to heaven because they were seeds of Abraham they were their bloodline was from Abraham a very righteous man based on his faith not works the Pharisees based their faith on what they did their works and Abraham simply believed and repented and was humble and trusted God for his salvation even before he was circumcised so the law didn't have anything to do with his salvation and they claimed to be sons of Abraham and Jesus said you're not sons of Abraham because you wouldn't be acting the way you're acting toward me that's talking about Jesus and he said if you abide in my word that is the truth my word is truth Jesus is saying to these religious people you may know some you may be one but he said the truth will set you free you know Christ didn't just teach the truth he was the truth he is the truth embodied in flesh when you believe on him as your Savior you have put your faith in the truth the crucified resurrected truth that Jesus claimed to be with the Pharisees. They were too proud and too self-righteous to understand what he was saying. And he says, Jesus said to them, you're a slave to sin. And they said, of course, we've never been slaves to anyone. Well, if you're not set free spiritually, you still are a slave to sin. And then you will suffer the consequences of dying in your own sins after God has forgiven you through his son who knew no sin, you're going to claim, most people will say this, they're going to claim before a holy God that they're a good person after Christ lived a sinless life, setting us free from the law of sin and death. Are you free? You probably are free physically. But are you free spiritually? Have you been set free spiritually? That's the main thing. Because you can live in a free country, have all the money you want, but die and then pay the consequences for dying in your own sins. You know, God doesn't want anyone to pay for his own sin. Did you know that? It's not God's will that any should perish. But to all, all people come to repentance. Won't you do that for the first time? Independence Day, great day to be set free. Jesus said it to the Pharisees, my truth will set you free. Have you put your faith in the truth? 
Christ Jesus, God's only begotten Son, who paid the penalty for your sins in the flesh because he knew no sin, God accepted his sacrifice. So person that repents and believes on those facts in his heart will be set free. Jesus said it great. So if you haven't been set free, maybe you're free physically, be set free spiritually. Do it for the first time or make a renewed commitment to live your life in freedom, the freedom that comes in Christ. Quit trying to work for your salvation. Quit trying to be a good person or earn your salvation by being a good person. You can't do it because Christ was perfect. He has, Jesus, set us free. Galatians 5.1 also says to Christians that are trying to earn brownie points after being saved, live in your liberty. It doesn't give you excuse to sin, but don't try to grind it out and earn extra points with God for your salvation when you've already been saved through Christ. Work for your rewards, not for your salvation. Work because you love God, not because you're trying to add to your salvation. It's already been paid for. God has set you free if you're in Christ. If you're not, I invite you to become set free. Go to needgod.com, needgod.com and look at that video and answer a couple questions. You'll be glad you did. So, it's a great day to be free, physically and spiritually. Until next time, hope to see you down the road when you're display displaying your flag. Make sure you exercise proper etiquette when you hang a flag, fly a flag. There's so many ways that people do it that are wrong. So make sure you do it right this time of year. So hope to see, see you down the road. Until next time, always remember my motto. Do what you can, where you can, when you can, the best you can. But do something. Go to the website rtgm.org if you want to get involved in local missions, in-town missions, ready to go ministries is your in-town mission connection. We'll connect you with your place of service. Until next time, be set free. I'm excited about life. I hope you are too in your freedom. Take care.